This is our Donnelly printing in Greenlee, Colorado. This is our telephone directory manufacturer. We're in the bindery department. At this location, we make telephone directory exclusively. What we're looking at here is a gathering machine. It takes printed signatures as they come from the, the press, folded into what's called the signature form, which incorporates 64 pages of product. Signatures are gathered together here on the gathering line into a finished product where in this case there are 33 signatures that comprise the entire book. The product travels into the binding operation where the folds are removed off of the signatures. The cover is applied to the book with hot melt glue that attaches it securely. And in this case, the tip-on card is, is placed on top of the directory as additional advertisement. The last portion of the operation is the three-knife trimmer. It's going to trim the signatures open and allow the book to be finished at that time, ready for delivery to the consumer. This is 22-pound paper that's being used for this particular telephone directory. Uh, it's made in Canada, shipped to us in 50-inch rolls, 74 inches across, weighing about 3,500 pounds a piece. A roll this size will contain close to 15 miles of paper. This is the very beginning of the printing process. Twice has just been made onto the new roll. The speeds are very critical in order to make that match. And uh, the machine continues to run at about 35,000 signatures an hour. Here. Printed product comes out of the uh, of the press section as a full sheet, 74 inches across, and it's slid into four equal ribbons. The ribbons, as they're they're aligned and, and placed correctly, are delivered down onto a folder, which automatically perforates and cuts the signatures into strips, drops it onto the belt for delivery into the stacker bundle. The product is advanced. It's, it's brought in in bundles, bundle form from the press, and it's carried by automatic belt system up to the hopper and automatically fed into the hopper on an as-needed basis. And then the hopper feeds its individual signature down onto the raceway. The individual signatures are carried by chain down through the raceway as the next successive signature feeds on top of it therefore building the book as it goes. It's driven off of the central drive shaft, which works off a small worm gear gearbox on the back side of it, and incorporates several different uh, mechanical functions. It's driven off the, a uh, sprocket also attached to that common drive shaft, comes up to a small uh, spring-loaded clutch which the whole drive comes down through a gearbox to the separator disc here as the machine rotates. And this disc is going to support the product that rests on top while this vacuum through the suction cups is pulling this signature down. The gripper drum has three sets of two grippers which are going to come closed on the product as it meets the correct position underneath the separator. As the product is being fed through the, the drum, it, it advances into a calipering device which has a, a calipering cam hidden behind this wall. This lever moves as it detects the thickness of the product. If it senses that the correct amount of thickness is there, then the device will simply come up in the center as it's shown here and there won't be any conflict at this point, and the product will feed. This proximity sends a signal to a computer that monitors the entire system, that, and it will tell in the event that there is a conflict, it will signal the downstream hoppers to not feed.
At this position, the entire book has been gathered together, and we know that through a sequence of collating marks. The book is now going to be twisted to an upright position and being prepared for its entry into the binder. The individual clamps are coming close on the book that will hold it securely as it's being transported through the cutoff saw. This device is a cover feeder and it, it feeds the product directly in line with the clamp above it. It's actuated by a, a solenoid device that operates a slide valve opening and closing back into the front of the cup. Hot melt glue is applied at 350 degrees to the backbone. This is the cover breaker. The side wings of the bottom clamp are, are, are squaring the book up and uh, setting the hot melt glue. The bound book is now dropped from the clamp and it's delivered into the conveyor system. At this point, it's still in signature form and awaits only to be trimmed open the individual pages. This is called a magnetic flow diverter. And that evenly distributes the books as they go toward the, the trimmer at the far end of the sheet. This is the Harris DT trimmer. It'll, it trims uh, six inches of product maximum at a single stroke. It, it's a three-line trimmer. The first action that's happening is that the front or the face of the book is being uh, removed. The product is then transported to the second section where the head and the foot are then being removed. And of course, the, the waste material is being carried away from it through vacuum tubes on the side. At this location, the finished book is now being inspected and then it's being wrapped, ready to go to an automatic palletizing device. Okay, this is an Albi palletizer. Product is coming in in packages of four books to a package. Their packages are being turned and placed in a order so that it fits onto a, a pallet. This machine's driven entirely by electric motors, and you'll hear a lot of pneumatics going on, like the cylinder that's operating the bump turn at this point.